I shut off my mic. I'm so good at this. Welcome, welcome. It's Sunday night. It's VRGL time. We're here to watch the women of Echo throw down in a mixed scrim. With me tonight, I've got the one and only Paranim. How are you doing? Pretty good. Awesome. Uh, I have just given up, uh, given the teams the signals to ready up, so we should be getting going any minute now. Uh, we did have some last minute sub substitutions. Uh, seems like people are still switching teams trying to get this figured out. But I have full for, uh, full faith in the ladies. They'll, they'll get it figured out. Um, but the rosters for tonight. On the orange team, we have the Mushroom Ninja, the Party Crew, Sage Fox, and a newcomer Bugged Out Beefcakes. And on the blue team, we have a team of veterans, Glass, Maddie, Weave Name, Mina, and Obs. And here we go. We're getting this first round underway. Paranim, who do you think has the first joust? I'm gonna say orange. All right, all right. Well, we'll see. And it is gonna go to orange. Let's hey. go. <laughs> Stacks are racing down there, picked up by Bugged Out Beefcakes, but Bugged Out gets stunned out before she can handle it. So that's gonna get sent out ish. It's actually gonna be in the hands of the party crew. Party crew looking around, no pressure yet. Sending it back, but intercepted by Obs, and Obs is gonna try to get that cleared out. Can't quite find its way through the midfield though, uh, and it is picked up by Sage Fox. Uh, still, <laughs> disc is still loose. Nobody really has a, a firm hand on it yet. Sage Fox doing some moves, doing some jukes, gets stunned out before she can get rid of it, though. So Glass is going to get that cleared all the way out. And it will be in the hands of 
No, I lied. It will be in the hands of the Mushroom Ninja. The Mushroom Ninja getting that cleared out now into the blue side, bouncing around in the blue bubble. Nobody's there yet. An orange team overshoots that, and it will be picked up by Glass. I'm just going to walk this up slowly. This is, usually we get a score in the first 30 seconds of the game, and now we're in a whole two minutes and nothing's happened yet. But uh, anyway, we'll let the game play out for a second. I want to talk to my guest, Paranim, who I've been super excited to have on at some point. It just happened to be this week. Um... Paranim has been a member of VRGL so close to since the beginning and has been a member of the, the Echo community for a long time, too. How long have you been playing? By now, at least four and a half years. I think it's coming up on five now. Uh, I am a Quest 2 idiot, so you're going to have to translate that for me to, to, to VRML season. Is that preseason? <laughs> 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 I'm guessing so by that laughter. <laughs> that would be before ESL season one. Oh my god. All right, you're old. Got it. <laughs> Thanks. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Still no points on the board in this first round, but it sounds like they're having a good time as I'm hearing a lot of giggles coming out of the field. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, I have their volume at like 1% on the volume mixer and I can still hear them. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Same. I, I think I keep them at 4. Um, and I have to change it for the wireless jack scrims because I just... Um... Oh, there we go. First points of the game go to Bugged Out Beefcakes for the orange team, putting her team up by 2. Um, but yeah, when I do the, the wireless jacks cast, I have to like adjust the volume because they're louder like than the game sounds, even with their comms turned down. It's pretty wild. <laughs> they're all having fun. <laughs> they're having fun. And you know what? It's kind of like, it's one of the highlights of my Sunday evenings. It's just listening to people giggle for a half hour. It makes me happy. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So anyway, you've been, you've been playing since, since pre preseason, which is super awesome. You've been around since ESL. That's so cool. Uh, Glass now with the, the first two points for the blue team, putting that in scores tied two to two. Um, so like, I wanted to ask, uh, especially somebody who's, who's been around for so long. What do you think the the biggest change in the community has been since you know before you since you started playing and and now that we've got the so many headsets change. in here. Um, <laughs> and I'm kind of there's you on been the spot. a few. <laughs> there's been a lot of gameplay changes in terms of strategy because mm -hmm. like the joust used to be different. It used to be in the middle every time, and now it's four v four instead of three v three. But I, I think the biggest. You get to meet so many other new people, and I think that's pretty amazing. Yeah, it's definitely awesome. I've noticed, like, you know, as, as super competitive players, we still, you know, we might not know all the 50s. I, mm. I still get in lobbies where I don't know anybody. I usually know at least somebody, but sometimes I don't need anybody. But, like, once you get to the higher levels of, of competitive play, we still we still recognize each other. We see each other in the same mixed grounds all the time. Um and a gnome, speaking of high play, Glass going off the ceiling, doing all sorts of inversion before putting that in for another two points, putting the blue team up four to two, or I'm sorry, six to two, up by four. Um, but yeah, I think, <laughs> I can't, I feel like my, my perception of like knowing everybody has been kind of skewed coming in from Quest 2 and also just with my position in VRML, um, where like, even if I don't know somebody, somebody knows me, and it's kind of weird. <laughs> yeah. They're like, oh, hey, say chaotic. And I'm like, hi, I don't know you. <laughs> Who no, are I get you? that sometimes. Like, <laughs> oh, well, yeah, I yeah. Do, like, know the person, I'm horrible with names. <laughs> so sometimes, even if I met somebody, I don't remember them for the life of me. Same. Like, which is which is even weirder in like a world of gamer tags, right? Like, it's it's one thing to yeah. not remember anybody's name because it's some generic name that every other you know person you meet has in the real world. But like, like bugged out beefcakes. <laughs> That's such a memorable name, but like, I guarantee you, I will forget it by next week. Not because <laughs> bugged out beefcakes. I'm just awful with names. <laughs> yep. But that's okay. <laughs> um. That, you know, when people switch their names, too, that drives me insane as yeah, well. Yeah, no. 
That's like, horrible. I'm, I'm, I mean, honestly, I'm a little guilty of that, but I've, I mean, I've been pretty consistent in the last been, couple years, so I'm good. You've been I'm super good. consistent, um, for the most part. Actually, I do want to ask, what was, what was up with that? You switched for, what was it, one season to Salty Tuna Fish? Was there a yeah, reason for that, I mean, or you just got sick of Paranym? <laughs> it, it gets fairly convoluted, because actually, this account, Paranym, is technically an alt account. Oh? And Salty Tuna Fish is the older email that, oh. like, it's the one I started off with, but it was under a different name, Elemental Grim. I didn't know and that. And then eventually, cool. I made a new account called Paranym. I played on that for a bunch, and then it's the account I have the most games on now. And then after a while, I wanted to switch the name of the first account, so I switched it to Salty Tuna Fish. Mm -hmm. And then that's the account I met Tortoise on, which was the captain of the original Corrosion. So I played VRML Season 3 on that account, or Season 2. Yeah, Season 2, Season 3 on that account. And I, I switched Paranim after that. Awesome. That is, that's really cool. I, uh, yeah, I kind of wanted to ask, like, what's, who have been some of your favorite people to play with since you've obviously been around for a long time? I couldn't say, honestly. There's, there's been a lot of people. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> Most of them are good ones. Yeah. <laughs> that's fair. But, um, oh, no way. Party crew. <gasps> oh my god. What the heck? <laughs> 16 meters. Oh, wow, that was a good shot. You know, only 4 meters a second when it went in, but it doesn't matter. Points is points. And Party Crew really <laughs> needed that for points, her yeah. team. <laughs> only we'll now. Take those. Yeah, we'll take those. I love saying that. So when I hit something that doesn't make any sense or like I didn't mean to yep. do it, I'll just go, yep, you know, we'll take that. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Um,. So, okay, so you played for Corrosion, and then you played for Corrosion again last season as well, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah, because I, I remember for... you... Sorry, go ahead. No, 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 go for it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I played for Team Salty, which was Corrosion before we named it Corrosion, then Corrosion. Then Corrosion broke up, then I played on a team called Abator for like half a season, and oh. then Overkill, and then Corrosion again. Gotcha. Yeah, because I remember I was super shocked when I saw you uh, leave Overkill last season. Um, oh, I didn't leave. I got kicked. Oh, well. Yeah. That was the yikes. whole thing. <laughs> yikes. I'm not, you know, I'm, you know still, I'm still friends with them, so. All right, all right. All good. Cool. Well, you know what? Sucks for them. They needed you. <laughs> <laughs> but we're not going to get into that. <laughs> <laughs> no, not today. <laughs> <laughs> but, um,. Speaking of, of, of different teams and playing, you're now playing for, for NEPA on um, it's Echo Club Kansas City, right? Correct me if I'm yes. wrong? Awesome, yeah. Okay. You are I correct. That would have been so awkward if I was just like something random to you. <laughs> I do try to do my research. Like the, the one name that's different, too. Yeah. <laughs> I wrote it down and I looked at it and I was like, that can't be right. That's not a NEPA name. <laughs> but it's fine. It's fine. Um, yeah, I totally. I watched your game last night against the, the Cyclones, you. I think it was, right? Yep. Uh, wait, no, not Cyclones. Oh, I lied. See, I'm not... <laughs> St. Louis Hustle. That's it. I'm sorry. No, um... it's, it's okay. I want to <laughs> play Cyclones, yeah. but we're, we're in different conferences, so that's going to be at LAN. Gotcha. Hopefully. hopefully. Yeah, that would be that'd be super cool. I, yeah, I just want to see you play more, because it's awesome seeing, seeing women at the top. Um, but yeah, you guys really ran away with that game last yeah. night. <laughs> Speaking of running away with games, that is the end of our first round. Blue team up twelve to five. Um, and usually when the, the ladies on the field feel the teams are a little bit unbalanced, they'll fix it themselves. We'll see if we see that uh, right now between rounds because this is all just for fun, just to give women a, a safe place to, to play. That is the whole purpose of VRGL, and you've probably heard this spiel before, but I'm going to give the spiel again. Um. VRGL isn't just these pickup games that we do on Sunday nights. It's a whole community for women um, and women identifying people to get together, have a safe space within Echo. Um, it's a support community. It's a social community. And of course, we do these Sunday night games amongst ourselves, which are a lot of fun, casted by me um, with a co-host each week on Veardus Media. And yeah, if you or someone you know is a woman or woman identifying and wants to get involved in VRGL, you can always DM me. You can find me on Discord and I will get you an invite link. That was a lot of talking. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you did good. You did good. <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you. <laughs> um, 
looks like we aren't going to be switching teams. Orange team said, nah, we got this, fam. And I totally believe in them. <laughs> um, as yeah, we are going to get this second round underway. He called orange team winning Joust last round, so I'm going to call blue team this, team this time. We'll see how that goes, though. And nope, I lied. It is going to go in favor of orange, and orange is going to get that sent into the blue side. Picked up now by Glass. Glass doing some jukes, doing some moves, trying to get that cleared out, but can't quite find the midfield. It will be in the hands of Party Crew. Party Crew moving around. Find Sage Fox, but Sage Fox gets stunned out before she can do something with it. Same with Party Crew again, and the blue team will get that sent all the way through, down into the bubble. One on none with the goal. It is put in by Glass for the first two points of this round. Awesome. See, usually we get like a score within the first 30 seconds. I was so thrown for a loop when I had to cast for two minutes straight last round. I was like, okay, guys, come on. I want to talk to Paranum, please. Pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> but um all right so going back you've been in the community for a long time and something you're also really well known for other than you know playing well is your art um you actually correct me if i'm wrong you did uh a picture that sits in gilligan's living room and you did the this goes where photo for wireless jacks yes <laughs> that's so <laughs> awesome <laughs> oh, i should have had that ready to put up on stream oh well i don't come prepared um but yeah so so what are, what have been some of your favorite projects you've done for the the community you know art wise definitely led the stuff i did for gilligan also the instinct logo was pretty fun to see oh you did the instinct logo. that's so cool yep that's so awesome i mean i think those are, those two have been like the biggest ones uh mm. there i've done a whole bunch of other logos for different teams also my own teams <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome that's super cool so like do you do you do art professionally is it just like a side hobby or a hobby mostly like i right. i I'm, i don't really have i mean i have time for a job i guess but i don't i don't oh, really that... have one <laughs> yeah besides yeah. <laughs> besides the commissions in nepa i don't have a job so that's how i make my money there you go hey that's a fun way to do it though um, yeah yeah funner but... than waiting tables all day a you know what been there i feel that <laughs> but um so like what's what's some of um you know you do your commissions and I'm, hopefully you do art for fun because yeah art is fun for those who are good at it <laughs> not me but <laughs> what is what's some of your favorite stuff to draw do you just doodle a lot or like do you have certain subjects you like drawing dragons hey that's favorite awesome thing, dragons that's so cool <laughs> I definitely expect to see more dragons in the VRGL server then. <laughs> Actually, I, I sculpted one in sand a little while ago. I don't know if I post like I think I posted it on one of the servers, but I forget which one. Uh, for just okay, is sand like digital art or is that like actual like out of actual sand? sand? That's so cool. I'm sorry, I did. <laughs> it's like I, I went to the park and I got bored because I was just swinging and like I'll sculpt the dragon in sand. Why That's not? so cool. I definitely want to see that if you have pictures of it. That is awesome. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, I can send one to you right now, I think. Heck yeah. Let's see if I'm talented enough to throw something up on stream. Um, maybe. I don't know. No promises. But I'll try. <laughs> um, but yeah, I would totally love to see the dragons. Uh, the, the sculpted dragon. That'd be cool. Yeah, Phenom in chat. Hey, Phenom. Phenom wants to see it too. Oh my god, Glass, you can't do that. That blue stack came in so quickly, stole that from the orange team before they could even get the joust off, and puts that in for another two points. It might take a bit. I have to scroll through like a million reference pictures just to find <laughs> it. I'm not super into art, but like I'm going to go ahead and say it. Huh? Just artist things. Um... <laughs> yes. I can't draw to save my I, life. <laughs> I, um, yeah, we, uh, never mind, I can't tell that story. Haha, <laughs> I lied. You guys don't need to hear that. Um, but anyway, Maddie now with the disc while we're waiting for Paranum to find her dragon. Maddie's gonna get that cleared out. It's in the orange side in the trap area, drifting loose, but it will be picked hey, you know up. What? By I'm the gonna mushroom. email it to myself and then send it to you on my computer instead. That, you know what? 
if it works, it works. If it's points, it's points. <laughs> if it's a dragon, it's a dragon. <laughs> Picked up by Obs. Obs is going to get that cleared all the way through, finding its way through all the geos into the orange bubble. Still no hands on it. Is going to be picked up by the Mushroom Ninja. Mushroom is going to get that cleared somewhat out toward the back line, but Maddie's there. Maddie's going to find Glass right under the underside of the bubble. She's going to get stunned out before she can do something with it, though. Oh my gosh, it is changing possession too quickly for me to keep track of, but all you need to know is we named Mina, got her hands on it, and she knew what to do with it. She put that in for two points, and Blue Team is up 8-2. to two. <laughs> Faye Nam <laughs> says in chat saying oh well the bull yeah unfortunately I can't Faye if you can think of a way for me to tell that story without breaking rules you can put it in chat um, but uh, basically I, I made a, a logo for a team as a joke and I'm terrified they're going to use it because it's this like stick figure bull with like <laughs> no features uneven horns like it's so ugly and I was stupid enough to sign my name on it too so if they use that as their team logo they're going to everybody gonna know where it came from <laughs> I'm just I'm sure it's <laughs> I said the team oh no logo. it's so bad alright I'll trade you I'll throw yours up on stream and then I will privately send you the bull picture <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. All right. I definitely want to try to throw that up on stream uh, real quick. Dragon. Um. All right. And then let me see if I can find this bull picture for you. It's so, it's so bad. All right. You can look at that and react to that while I try to get your dragon put up on stream. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Masterpiece right there. Oh my god, it's so good. It... It's perfect in every conceivable way. <laughs> I know it is. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm not new to dad. I don't know how to do this quickly. Oh, okay. It's massive, but... Here is Paranim's dragon now up on the left side of the screen, and we're gonna leave this dragon right here for a little bit so everybody can see it. Um, but yeah, that is that is super cool. Did you like ever take classes for the art stuff, or does it just come naturally to you? Yeah, I, I took classes. I, I had like an art class I think every day of high school mm -hmm. for all of those four years. Actually, seven and eighth grade too, because it. Basically, my high school had like an art program. There was music, visual arts, um, theater. Mm -hmm. What? Shit, I forget. <laughs> there was another thing. <laughs> and seven and eight had dance. And then I, I took uh, visual arts for all, all those six years. So, yes, a lot of art classes. <laughs> That's so cool, though. It definitely has paid off seeing the stuff that you post on the server and that Thank dragon you. you just sent. That's so cool. <laughs> I um, so I actually I study robotics, uh, and there's a lot of times where I'm trying to like convey some kind of mechanism that I'm like in in my head I know exactly how it's supposed to function. I can mm -hmm. I know exactly where every motor goes, where every gear goes, where every pulley. But like as soon as I have to put that on paper, it's all over. I'm like, <laughs> like very crude circles that don't even look like circles i have to label absolutely everything it definitely looks like something your kindergartner drew you and you put it on the fridge out of pity <laughs> <laughs> well, i'd argue as long as other people understand it it works perfectly oh fine. that's the thing nobody understands it i have to like fully draw it up and in, in, like i have to fully cat it out in solid works and like digital <laughs> digitally for it to make any sense and i just end up sad but yeah for the people that can draw like hats off to you i wish i could you guys are so talented just keep sending me your art keep bragging about it uh world needs more artists i uh, will do that maybe not bragging <laughs> but I'll keep well <laughs> yeah, well yeah no don't <laughs> look what i can do you can't <laughs> <laughs> yeah maybe not that but definitely you know show it off we love seeing it yeah, um, for sure. Yeah. Um, speaking of, of bragging, I do want to talk. I kind of sort of touched on it, and then we got super distracted. Uh, you are a NEPA pro player, which is awesome for the, the women of VR, because, you know, as, as I'm sure you've experienced and everybody who is a female has experienced, Echo can be kind of a toxic place for women. Um, and it's super discouraging at times. 
Um, especially when you like look at all these better players, and you're like, how can I get up there when I have to put up with all of this to get up there? Um, and so, like, I don't know. Do you think do you think getting up there now is harder than it was in the beginning? I guess is what I, I want to know. Now that the, the mm-hmm. community's ex- exploded. Yeah, it, I mean, like if you got into the game in the beginning, then you, you know, you have that time, and you, like, you stuck with it, you have that time to get better, you have that time to improve, and then by the time we get to, like, now, where the community is a lot bigger than it was, then you already have the skill yeah. to be recognized, but, it, like, if you're joining now, obviously, it takes a while, it takes a while to get good at something, but yeah. I'm anyone who puts in the work can do it. For sure. I don't uh, care if they're, like, they think they're not talented, or they don't have what it takes they do they absolutely do awesome somebody clip that for me so i can play that every day when i get out of echo and start crying because i can't throw <laughs> but, I believe um, in you, you can thank throw. you thank you Meredith. that means the world to me <laughs> um so unfortunately i didn't get to i did flash the stats up for those who were interested um but in their most recent update i'm pretty sure rad actually fixed the best of feature um where you know how it used to be it used to say like best of three but it didn't actually function or do anything um it now does something and since the blue team won the first two rounds it ended the match uh we do have one more round for you guys so don't worry stick around um but yeah be aware of that if you were a player you actually have to go flip off best of uh and and put all now Mm. anyway um, so Nepa pro stuff, uh, were you like, were you expecting to, to get drafted? Cause I feel like, you know, and I, I don't mean this offensively at all. It's just like, you know, Saluna and, and Rosie hope, like everybody knows, like they're, they're super high female players. And I, I feel like not too many people or, you know, not as many as there should be, uh, know that you are also a super high female player. So like, were you expecting to get drafted? What was that like? Honestly, like, I knew it was a possibility, but I wasn't really getting my hopes up. Like, I knew it'd be, like, fourth or fifth round. Mm-hmm. So, I don't I'm, I'm happy I got in at all. <laughs> but hey, I'm that's, here. that's awesome. You're there. You were representing the women, yeah. like, and we are all for it. Like, every time somebody in VRGL sees you playing, like, we always post a link. We're like, go, 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 guys, Paranym's on! Go, go watch! <laughs> um, <laughs> so, it, that's, that's something that I really like about the VRGL server, is it's super supportive, and, like, everybody has each other's back. And I love seeing like people like, oh, so-and-so's on, go watch. I'm like, yes, go watch. Go support your fellow women. Um, especially at the pro level. It's super important because we're definitely the minority um, up there more than even the rest of the ladder, the rest of the league. Um, so, but that's that's super cool. Um, are you liking it so far? Like, I mean, I'm not asking you to get super political, but like, you're happy and everything? Yeah, yeah. Awesome. I mean, obviously, like, there's the whole getting paid to play. I well, think, hell but... yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I get to play with amazing people, amazing players. I'm having fun. It's great. That's awesome. I'm super happy for you. That's so cool. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, oh, class is typing. What's up, class? What's wrong? Oh, class, don't worry about it, boo. It's okay. Class was just apologizing. They hit reset before I could see the stats, but it's mm. it's fine. We'll get the stats at the end. It's just we'll do one round. It's fine. I'm sure everybody did great. Everybody had stats all across the board. Everyone was phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> no zeros anywhere. Promise. Don't go back in the VOD and look. Um. <laughs> so so you mentioned earlier you don't have a lot of time outside of like Nepa and um. Oh my gosh, what was I saying? My brain just gave out. Anyway, I saw you're in CVRE. Okay. You mentioned you're in CVRE, so obviously you're a college student. What are you What are you studying now, if you don't mind sharing? Um, the name of the program is Interactive Multimedia and Design. So it, it's like a mix between in, like information technology and art, basically. That's so cool. Is that like, so like 3D modeling kind of stuff and like interactive media? Oh yeah, media? It's, it's a little bit all over. Like I've had classes in C++, PHP, HTML, but I've also had like 3D animation in Maya just this semester. Uh, what else? There's a ton of stuff. So your brain is huge. I love to see it. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you for the compliment. <laughs> You're welcome. It's, yeah, I love, I love seeing 
people, you know, the, the coding stuff, I love seeing people in STEM. And then also the fact that you're combining that with art is super cool. Um, cause that like, I mean, what kind of careers does that lead into? whole bunch of stuff like obviously you can go in like game design and all that yeah kind of thing. that's the first thing that came to my mind i just yeah there's like also like general animation like tv shows Ooh. that sort of thing like it i wouldn't even know where to begin on where that can lead <laughs> it's a very general program <laughs> phenom is upset with you in, ch in, in chat but first i want to shout out that boop shot from bugged out beefcakes holy crap I made this is her I don't think the VRML website supports that, unfortunately. Um, I'm gonna get on that just for you, Karen. Because <laughs> <laughs> that would be super cool. Uh, animated team logos. That's I'm adding that to you know. Not that Dagen doesn't have enough to do right now, but that would be super cool. Um, dude, I'm picturing like an animated version of team logos and like what that would look like, like with the corrosion logo. That would be that'd be super cool. All right, I can see it. I can see it. Really cool. I can see it. I can see it. Yeah, but guys, I, we're totally missing the coolest part. Where Paranum is going to have her own TV show. TV show. Hello, TV show. <laughs> <laughs> Ten years in the future that she animates, and she's going to be too cool for all of us. <laughs> <laughs> Nonsense. Or, or her own VR game, because game development that would be even cooler. Actually, I, I would like to get on that at some point. Yeah. What kind of what kind yeah. of like games would you be interested in developing? No idea yet, but I do want That's to fair. make something that incorporates some kind of unique movement system. Because mm -hmm. like games like Echo and uh, who was it Lemming developed <laughs> Gorilla Tag. Yeah, Th those are the only really the two games that I can think of that really make use of what VR can do in terms of movement. Mm -hmm. And I I, I don't know I want to add to that I guess. Oh, that shot almost going in, but party crew cleans it up. The cleanup crew, actually, in this specific moment, uh, make sure that goes in, putting in two points. And orange team is actually up in this round, nine to four. Let's go, orange team. Here comes that comeback. Because, <clears throat> you know, only the last round matters. We took that from Beer League. That's also in BRGL. <laughs> are, you, are you in Beer League? No, but I am looking to get an invite. <clears throat> Paranum, I think that can be arranged. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was kind of waiting until like a week ago because that's when my birthday was, and I'm 19 now. So technically, I can be in there. Paranum, it was your birthday, and you didn't say anything. You turned, bruh. We're gonna fix this. We're gonna fix this right after the stream. Don't you worry. I'm super excited. Awesome. Yeah, <laughs> Phenom is also yeah. excited in chat. I kept Let's asking go. if it was if if it was legal in drinking age in your country or yeah, in yeah, your state, last province, because Quebec is eighteen, but Ontario is nineteen, <laughs> so I had to wait. Um, I'm oh my god, I am a mod, so whatever I say is a ruling. Oh no, um, I I think <laughs> don't answer that. Don't answer that. No uh, yeah, I'm not gonna answer that because I don't know. <laughs> you need to talk to Acid. <laughs> That's his <Yeah>. problem. <laughs> Fadon was super upset with you in chat, <laughs> saying, "Bro, we talked about this." I, if you answered that, Fadon, I'm sorry, I didn't remember what you said. She can't even remember your name, Fadon. All right, come on. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Had to bring it all the way back for a second. <laughs> but Maddie putting in two points. Orange team now up eleven to four. Let's go. <laughs> Uh, okay, so you are all over the place in the Echo community. You've been playing ESL, you played VRML, you played NEPA, you also play CVRE. Are you on one of those like regional teams, or are you on a team for your school? Regional teams, because I don't think Ontario or Canada in general has too many players, or at least enough that are in college and know of CVRE gotcha. to actually play, but gotcha. That's I think super there's cool. like a couple, couple teams, yeah. both regional teams. Awesome. Um, hold on one second. I got some technical difficulties on my side. Entertain them. Distract them. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck. <laughs> I think that's the first F-bomb we've had on stream. <laughs> that's one hell of a distraction. <laughs> awesome job, Paranum. It is fixed now. We're okay. <laughs> Okay. You're welcome. <laughs> Keep breathing. <That> so funny. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna 
podcast to get through it. <sighs> All right, we've named we've named Mina. Does put that in for another two points. Uh, bring it in. <laughs> To giggles here on stream. <laughs> Give us a second. Whew. All right, I'm good. I'm good. That was good. <laughs> uh. <laughs> no, I was together, and then you weren't, and I can't. No. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> I'm good now. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. A minute left. Blue team needs a three. Mm. Ooh, okay. I'm crying. I'm crying too. Like there's eyeliner running down my face. It's so ugly. <laughs> Sage Fox takes a shot. And she can't quite handle it. It's melting out. <laughs> okay. All right, um, this is going to get that cleared through. We're running out of time. 40 seconds left. Blue team does need a three to tie this up and send it to overtime. And there it is. Three points for Maddie. 32 seconds left. So after the countdown, we're going to have about 10 seconds left. We are more than likely going to overtime. <laughs> Pam said a goose flew by. <laughs> I saw that. No, guys, every time I try to get it together. <laughs> Orange team. Orange team gets that cleared out. Seven seconds left. It's bouncing around in the trap area. Picked up by the party crew. The party crew gets it stolen. It's okay, though. Time is out before anything can happen. And we are going to go to overtime. <laughs> All right. Okay. 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 I'm good. Dude, there's a rule on, like, there was a rule on Kraken because I got to stop living in the past. Um, where like you could not get me laughing because if you got me laughing, it was it was over, it was done. Like I couldn't function anymore. I'd just be cry like cackling <laughs> on the back line, not able to throw the disc. Um, and you have now seen yeah. why. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Glass picks that up. Glass has the one on one. She's gonna opt to the pa pass to Sage Fox. Sage Fox gets stunned out before she can do anything with it though, and that is gonna get s no. It's not gonna get slapped out. The slap is bad. Now it's cleared out though making its way all the way through the midfield, avoiding all of those geos, ending up in the orange side. The orange stack overshoots it. It's in the hands of Mushroom Ninja. Mushroom juking around, moving into the bubble, gets her pocket picked by Sage Fox, though, and Sage Fox is going to get that cleared out again. Wow, way down into the blue bubble. And it is picked up by the party crew. Nobody back yet for the blue team. Now the blue team's back. Party crew drifting into the bubble. Tries to take the slap shot, it looks like, but that is going to go wide going to be picked up by sage fox again sage fox sending it over to the shoulder to bugged out beefcakes bugged out beefcakes you can't give her a lane she's made her name known this whole stream oh intercepted off the shield off the shield again in the hands of glass what is going on glass off the backboard and there we are ending it now orange team puts in the two-pointer to end the game and taking the first uh, the third round of this night uh the first round going in their favor uh of the evening and that is the end of the match ladies and gentlemen <laughs> um and before i forget uh vrgl because of how awesome sammy gabby is sammy gabby is making vrgl t-shirts um and giving them out to some of the most active ladies in the server um and we i think she's finalizing that order today she wants me to shout out the people that got picked for those t-shirts um so those shirts are going to caroline rose x uh, the Party Crew, Princess Claire, Baby True, Sage Fox, Agent Victoria, Lunas, the Mushroom Ninja, Weeb Name Mina, and Sam. So thank you so much, Sammy, for your generosity. And thank you to all the women that play consistently in this in the server and keep the server going. Couldn't do it without you as we try to, you know, create that safe place for women in Echo uh, and get these Sunday night games going. Um, I don't know why this isn't... Well... Echo's frozen. I hope it's not frozen for you, but it will not let me move over oh, to the stats. Me. Um, that's awesome. Well, okay, oh. these are the stats you get. Here That'll work. Um, Stream's working. Cool. Awesome. Um, party crew with six points. Glass with two points. Sage Fox with the assist and the save. Bugged out Beefcakes with that three-pointer. Uh, Mushroom Ninja with six points. The, the, the scorer of her team. Maddie with three points and three saves. You go, Maddie. Uh, we've named Mina... 
stats across the board, and OBS with an assist. Um, <clears throat> holy crap, Mushroom Ninja with 24 stuns in one round. That's awesome. Good job. Uh, good job to everybody. Uh, <laughs> I think that is that is the party crew, and I can't see the second name. You guys got to move down a little. I can't shout out who's playing Patty Cake for us on stream. There we go. It's bugged out beefcakes. Thanks, guys. Um, now I get to do that thing where I plug everything on Veritas Media, and I don't have that pulled up yet. So, um, Sunday nights we have at 7 p.m. with the wireless cast where you can watch wireless jacks get together and play again. Sunday's at 9.30. Or I'm sorry, at 9 o'clock we have the VRGL Sunday night showdown that you just watched. I hope you join us again next week for that. Uh, on Mondays, 9.30, we have 2CQ, Two Cool Queens. Tomorrow, they will have Wonder T-Man and Palador on stream. Um, Tuesdays at 10 p.m., we usually have Level Up with the Lentil, but she's off this week. Wednesdays at 8 p.m., we have Frontline Gaming with Five Spot. Uh, Fridays at 10 p.m., it is the Beer League podcast that we all know and love, and so help me God, Paranum, you're going to be on that this week if you can play. Um, <laughs> and... Uh, Saturday nights at 12.30 a.m. We have McFabulous Games where Dan McFabulous plays Jackbox games with the community. Um, yeah, so we always got something going on at Veritas Media. Thank you guys for tuning in. We super appreciate it. Paranum, you have anything that you want to shout out before we go? Nothing I can think of. Awesome. Yeah, I'm sorry. I just talked for like eight miles. Eight mi miles? Uh, it's okay. I, quite it. To be honest, I, I zoned out a little, but that is not your fault. That's, I mean, I zone out when I'm talking. My mouth just keeps going. Uh, thank you so much for being on the show with me. Thank you, Phenom, for gifting a sub to Luna's. We appreciate it. Um, thank you, Sammy Gabby, for the bits. Um, Party crew, Beefcake, we see you. Thank you, guys. Bug, that was awesome for your first game. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, and, yeah, that's all I've got for you guys tonight. So thank you so much for joining us. Uh, see you next week. Bye.